Well, that sounded fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. And uh, welcome you. to uh, welcome Sorry, to DMU. Can you move up so you've got a bit more space. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here goes squidging, squidging, we're fine. Now, I mean, how, you're the second of a band we've had in the coffee house sessions. Do you want us to refer to you as like Cannon Street as one? Or do you want to do first names? Or should we just go, should we go can you be yes, Cannon sure. and you be Street? Yeah, we yes. kind of actually <laughs> do that exactly already. how it is. Okay, well, which, one, which, which one's Cannon and which one's Street then? Cannon. I'm Cannon because apparently I'm like fierce. fierce fiery. Fiery, fiery. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so. Street because I'm just a real G. <laughs> I know, I, I think we're going to get along. I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't know if you can tell by the woolly jumper, but I'm pretty gangster myself. Yeah, yeah, right. I see it. <laughs> How's the tour been going for you so far? Oh, so good. Um, this is our first ever tour, okay. and this is actually our last date of the tour, so Aww. a bit sad. Well, completely. Where? Oh, you well, are the last show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. end it on oh. a high. Yeah. Oh, I feel the pressure now. If this goes really badly, then we're just going to leave a complete sour taste in your mouth. Who says we never go badly? No, it's always going. It's going to go fantastically. <laughs> no, I'm loving it so far. Great. Um, Good. Yeah, this is really interesting. I guess this is the uh, first date of the tour that's like this. You know, mm. laid out like a show. It's pretty cool. With our beautiful setup yeah, and our many cameras. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. Very professional. Like so, it. um. How have you found the tour, seeing as this is your first tour? Has it been a good experience? Is it something you'd like to do again? It's been really fun. We've enjoyed travelling, haven't we? Yeah, we have we went had to the beach. Last. Yeah, <laughs> uh, on fun. the day we were in Winchester, um, and <laughs> so we were really close to the seaside, and we had like a, a radio interview on a breakfast show in the morning, so okay. we had like six hours to kill. So we went to the beach. Well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Did you go on the penny arcades? I have a slight gambling no. addiction when it comes to those things. Don't admit that on on <laughs> camera. That's not Sorry. good. <laughs> no, we spent all of our time like in the sea. In the sea. Oh, nice. That's great. On the sand. See, I haven't been to the beach since I was about. Building sand castles. Fish and chips. Sand castles. Oh, oh, it's a real amazing. traditional, you know, yes. beach day. <laughs> I haven't been to the beach since I was about sixteen, so I'm oh, no. quite jealous of you. I've yeah. been stuck here doing work all the time. This is how we felt. It was like, how many years has it been since you know we've been to this, the seaside? So we went crazy, like we ran to a little shop and bought buckets and spades. The woman was just like, how old are you two? (laughs) And because you're you're, you're from Birmingham as well, we're just slap bang in the middle of the country. There's no beaches anywhere nearby, (laughs) is there? Middle, yeah. So what are you doing at the moment, um, kind of before and after the tour? Uh, Before the tour, we were writing um, material and getting demos down and things like that. Afterwards, Mm -hmm. we've got a headline show in Birmingham, which isn't too far away from here, on April 13th, that we're really, really excited for. So if anyone wants to come, it's a headline now. show. It'll be great. Wait, what, what venue is that? It's uh, the Bulls Bulls Head Head. in Mosley, and it's a free show. Yeah. Just Every students people. love free. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason people have come today. To <laughs> I mean, I have, I have, and for your love of music, of course. You said you're so rude. <laughs> you can't take them anywhere. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to qualify that with an answer. <laughs> we but also I mean, have some plans to. Uh, Recorder and release an EP yeah. as well. So. Oh, that's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. I mean, in terms of sort of the tour, how have people? Because you're obviously playing to students who haven't, may not have heard of you, or like haven't like heard your music. How have you? Have you got any good feedback? How have people been reacting generally? Yeah, we've, we've had, had an amazing, amazing response, haven't we? Yeah. We've just passed 300 followers on Twitter, Yay. mainly because of the tour, which is really exciting. Uh, we've <laughs> also uh, gained a lot of followers on like Facebook and yeah. everything. So like our social media has gone up a lot. And I've been handing out little cards with links to our SoundCloud, so we've had a considerably uh, larger amount of plays. Yeah, um, yeah, it's been really nice because, I mean, for the most part, all of the cities we've been to on the tour are cities that we've never been to before. Oh, really? Yeah. Did, so you, tend, did you tend to gig mainly in Birmingham? Uh, uh, no, we've only really played a, a few shows in Birmingham. We've done a few in London, and we've actually played in Leicester as well. So oh, that when was that? Cool. Last um, summer, I yeah, think. we played with we played the Cookie Jar. Oh, okay, yeah. we all know the Cookie Jar. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, yeah. as kind of musicians, oh, if I can say that, musicians <laughs> and things, is it a hard kind of thing to keep up? Do you have jobs on the side, or is this? Do you do solely this? Um, I'm studying at King's College London right oh, okay. now, and uh, we're both living in London studying. Um, but I think music, as our kind of love, is it's not hard to keep up with it at all because we just always want to do it. Yeah. So. Are, you, are you studying music at university? Or no, it? I'm studying oh. theology, actually. Is that in any way related to your songs? I mean, <laughs> no, not yet, but, you know. You maybe sometime know. in the future. I mean, you always soon. draw, like, inspiration from things like that. Yeah. So I guess, like, the beauty of music um, and songwriting 
you don't necessarily have to study it to do it. Mm. it it takes to be inspired by like anything even the most ridiculous things i mean this the polka dots on this mug could trigger a song later who knows i don't like, even know where these mugs came <laughs> are they your mugs yeah they're my mugs they're from they're my great. kitchen they're they're really like it. my mum bought them as a present for coming to university really? this is my well done on getting into university presents oh Some they're mugs. so cute <laughs> and what Thanks, kind of room mom. this cube I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't that design just appeared, so. a bit like the banana. It's Sometimes huge. things just appear. Can it's the magic of coffee this? house. Not yet. I don't even think it's a real Rubik's Cube, to be honest. I don't know. Nothing, is, nothing here is real. No, this it it this sofa isn't real. It's made of plastic. Like, <laughs> this is all the set. You can have a go. Can we like. set a challenge to someone? Is there anyone well, who can do, do a Rubik's, Rubik's cube, cube in the audience? Uh, anyone, anyone, anyone here can We've do a Rubik's any Cube. Takers. Uh, any, does anybody want to try and complete They're all desperately looking around at other people. Come on, someone do it. Can you come and get it? <laughs> well, come on over, come get the Rubik's Cube. Yay! <laughs> What's your name? Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Okay, so Vanessa, by the end of the show, you have to have done that Rubik's Cube. She's now sitting and furiously twisting. <laughs> I'm just transfixed by now. You've broken the fourth wall of this. People didn't realise there was an audience here. You've, ru you've ruined the illusion. No, it's fine. Sorry. Hey, audience, well, should we give it to the real audience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, there we go. Um, so you were saying that you'd like to do some recording and things. When you fi uh, finish your studies, is this something that you'd like to take over full time? Well, this is something that we're working alongside of. Yeah. yeah. Our music, uh, our studying and music, like music is, yeah. I guess, the forefront of it. So. Um, yeah, we're Have you got any plans things, for when you finish studying to keep it going? I guess we're just gonna. Uh, it's like my first year at uni, so okay. we're so gonna see how, time, time, it, how it's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. And then I go, there's not really any like formal plans. It's just kind of. We'll yeah, just when see it how comes it to things happens. like this, it's kind of <laughs> difficult, to, you know, to set like plans for like four years ahead. So yeah, yeah. I guess we're just vibing with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, so are you at university together then? Uh, yeah. No, uh, I'm currently just doing an access course, okay. so I should be joining her. Mm. Because yes, I mean, I, I, because we know your, your sisters. Did you uh, did you grow up together and like? So when did you start writing music? Was it were you, um, were you banging like the kettle at age two or something? <laughs> We've always sang together. Um, I started writing when I was about thirteen. Those songs were awful. <laughs> uh, we progressed a lot from there. Rakea um, has always been stronger at playing instruments. Um, so, yeah, I guess she's been exploring. I, I kind of started learning piano when I was about 14 um, and guitar not too long ago. So that's all self-taught um, as oh, well. Oh, that's fantastic um, so to get to this level so quickly. Thank yeah, you. I mean, like, Rakea self-taught herself piano in, like, a month, like, the month or a, a few weeks, literally, before our first ever gig. You learned piano in one month? She had, yeah. Not piano. Guitar. Yeah, that was guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, that's that, 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 that's a guitar over there. No, no, yeah. I'm so sorry. My yeah, eyes may be deceiving me. Um, for our first ever gig, I mean, like, we'd written songs and stuff, but Rakea and I, we weren't really, like, confident to play, and then we thought we'd have a friend to play with us, and then uh, she couldn't make it, so Rakea was like, oh, crap, I need to learn <laughs> to play, and she did. That's and amazing, then, you just yeah, did she's it. Just, Play, really. So who actually gave you the put? You know, at what point did you realise? Oh, we can actually, you know, play music. This could go somewhere. Did someone? Was it the friend you said that pushed you into it, or was it something you just? No, this happened? is just something that we've always yeah. done. Really. I guess, yeah, singing is just something we've we've always done, and we've always had like a really positive response from anyone who's heard us. So, I guess uh, we just got like asked to play our first gig, which was a festival, mm -hmm. and then it kind of just went from there. Really. And were you, were you at, I mean, how did you get involved in the coffee house tour as well? How did that come about? Um, Again, it was just yeah. something that like everyone kind of crossed paths, um, the team and us, and, and they were like, "Well, do you want to shoot some videos?" And we're like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah. And then. And then. We were given some here. dates, yes. and then on the final, on the final day of the tour. <laughs> and as you say, it's um, you know been really good for your social media, mm. which Yusef has actually been following. I yeah. Believe. In my endless research before this interview, <laughs> I you no, know, I had a look on Twitter, and I noticed as your first like national tour. You've been tweeting quite a lot from the road, which um, yeah. I have uh, got a few snapshots of some of your tweets. Here. The apprehensive looks on your faces. Amazing. Now, oh you would think, being at your first national tour, you go, you know, let's tweet about how exciting how these new people were meeting the universities. You guys tend to tweet mainly about food. <laughs> yep. I've got a couple here. Um, 
<laughs> pre, you've got pre-show mozzarella dippers from McDonald's. That's bre- that was breakfast every day for the first week. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's a lovely, lovely picture of you here. It says, so much McDonald's today. Hashtag, I'll take it, Hannah. Do you want me to hold it? I'll be your <laughs> Hashtag tour life. Um, we've got a... What lo- sort of McFlurry is that? <laughs> I'm going to go with Smarties. Good choice, good choice. Uh, we've got a lovely... Oh, we've got a really flattering photo that says... <laughs> Hashtag papped, hashtag celeb. Nady get into, getting into the party car in a service station up north somewhere, featured accessory, hashtag McFlurry. Nice, I like that you're... Yeah, the McFlurry is in front of the face here. <laughs> you've got hashtag papped. That's hashtag celeb no as well. <laughs> yeah. You've got to give you the know illusion know of success. Yeah, exactly. Um, and this one simply says... Hashtag chip henge. Oh, right. Can we explain this? We yeah. were really close to Stonehenge, and uh, I, I've always really wanted to go to Stonehenge. Um, we still haven't been, which is a bit disappointing. And uh, we like to eat McDonald's chips and ice cream. I, I think we like it's wait, so whoa, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chips and ice cream. No, best honestly, it's the best thing in the world. Well, you can so see it in the photo, it. can't you? Um, I so thought that was like garlic mayo. I didn't realise no, no. that was ice cream. <laughs> no, it's literally McDonald's <laughs> fries <laughs> and the <laughs> Smarties <laughs> McFlurry. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that's something I'm gonna try. Well, no, it's <laughs> Right. If there's anything I'm going to take from today, it's that I have to try chips and McFlurry. Yeah, well, Rakea had fries and I said chuck them in, so she did. And then we realised that all of them were like standing upright apart from this one, which was balanced <laughs> on the others, and it looked like oh, I see that Stonehenge, now. so it's chip henge. Chip henge. I, must, I, I feel like we should stress right. that our other fast food outlets you can go to, McDonald's is not the only one. Um, <laughs> it is if you want McDonald's fries and ice McDonald's. cream. Well, so, um, I'd like to contest that point, because oh. you're next to it here, oh, no. all capitals. <laughs> Post gig Burger King. Sorry, McDonald's. We still love you, but hashtag Whopper. Lol. <laughs> See, we like to get a bit of balance here. It's not all about McDonald's. Sorry, and McDonald's. Then, last but not least. I'm very sorry. Oh, we've got we've got the crown on and everything. Yeah. Also crowns. Lol. So uh, well, that one was there. That's fantastic. We <laughs> thought we'd just bring. We like to we like to embarrass everyone here as much as possible. You've gone all red in the face. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <guys>. <laughs> I just realised like there were more than like like mug shots of me, but I feel like this is like a personal <laughs> attack. Pulling an AD club. It's not. No, 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 it's, no it's, it's not a personal attack. Just it's just an observation. Noticing your love for McDonald's. Mm. Okay. And your love. Do you have a love for selfies? Do you do selfies as well? Like. Big on selfies. Yeah. Only as a joke. Guys, though. should we take <laughs> a selfie? <laughs> yeah. Would you like to do a selfie yeah. now? Yeah. Right. Let's do right. a selfie. Do it. This is a live selfie that's happening, and you guys are going to play a couple more songs for us next, and then we'll yeah. tweet it out while you're. Whilst you're playing. Yeah. You ready? Are we going down yes. the This probably looks sofa? terrible on camera, but we'll tweet it later on. Ready? I feel a sneeze coming, which is really Don't cool. sneeze. <laughs> there we, we go. We've got some live You guys watching us take a selfie. Right, if you guys want to head over and set up to do a couple more songs for us, <laughs> okay. and we promise not Thank to embarrass you, you anymore. much more. Oh, bunting's Well, we'll now. try not to. Right, so that'll be tweeted. Um, keep an eye on the Demon Media um, Twitters. And Twitters? Twitter. Twitter page, just the one. <laughs> uh, now we're going to hand over to Camden Street, who are going to play two more songs for us. Yes. 